Okay, so right now we are at the top of St. Anthony, also known as the Shannon, I believe. It's quite a hike up here. It's really windy right now, too. And uh, this was actually built in the 1700s. So you gotta trust architecture from back then. There's Callie. The reason that she has earmuffs or earplugs around her neck is because climbing up, you gotta watch out because you actually go past the bells and if somebody's ringing them, it's probably gonna be a bad day. But this is the view from up here. It's pretty windy, but it's a beautiful day considering the amount of rain we've been getting. Um, this is the second largest clock in the world, right after Big Ben, of course. We just learned that on the way up. They have some inscriptions for you to read. Um, so I'll just give you a quick walk around and then we'll head down and I'll show you how tight it is. There's some pigeons. Um, but yeah, you're pretty high up might not seem like it but those are cars down there and you can see the whole countryside and this is located in Cork Ireland and uh, there's just uh, another church so I'll see if Callie's ready to head down and then we'll show you the decline from the bell tower ready to head down Okay, you can go first so they can see a size comparison. Can you put my ear muscle on me so I can drop this? Right here, hold this. Okay. Just watch out, it's really windy. It feels like it's going to fly out of your hand. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're ready. We're heading down. If you're claustrophobic, quit watching. You're probably not going to be able to hear any of this because of the wind. But here we go. So this is what a bell fryer would actually be doing. It doesn't look that narrow, but once we get to starting down it, it's like we're in a, a mine shaft. I know. And if you were too big, there's no way that you would fit. You gotta really watch your step down here by the bells, but. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to get the tablet down this thing. I'll show you how tight it gets. And this is like a 90 degree turn. And then you come out. They got some modern lighting for us, but I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not. These are the actual bells. Uh, what is there, Callie? Four of them, I believe? I think so. Four or six, but. Six of them, and they all have a different inscription on them. But really old. We're up really high, and these are the steps going down by the bells. You gotta watch out. There's some bird poop around, and then you get down here. This is why you wear the earmuffs right there. Imagine that thing going off when you're this close to it. It's gonna hurt. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to. Like Callie said, coming up, there's an arrow there if you somehow would get lost on this staircase. So, I'm just going to keep trucking on down. And now we're at one of the first levels here. This just uh, has the clock movement machine. Uh, so, I'd assume the faces are somewhere nearby. But this is behind glass that so you can't go. But you can see there's a ladder and... And then they just have some information on your way up about the bells, and this was uh, the different inscriptions. So, I'm sorry, there's eight bells. Is there? Mm-hmm. Maybe you can only ring six. No, actually, I think there is eight you can ring. But this gets a little bit more open up here, as you can see. But if you fell down these steps, you would be hurting. So, we'll see if Callie can play us a song in the bells. <laughs> they actually have different songs and what bells you 
need to pull the strings on. Uh, this is uh, this is the first level. I forgot about this. This just uh, tells you a little bit about the church, which is right there, and uh, the original holy water fountain, and that's a recreation of what it would have looked like. Kind of cool. There's some of the lumber that they would have used. Solid. Some stuff inscribed. Burial or death. Oh, sorry. The urn is for burial, not for holy water. Oops. My mistake. Oh, here's this is what I was talking about. The pant. The oh, pant yeah. is 16th century word for public fountain, which I would assume was holy water since it was in a church, but maybe it was just for drinking. I don't know. And those are the strings going up to the bells. And we're going to go down to the next level and see if we can't play them. We should have did a video on the prison. I know. Oh, that's outside. It's really kind of frosted up or steamed up. But we'll head on down and play a tune. see if we can play. Okay, we've made it. This is the first level. Some old pews, some old equipment. These two people are kind of neat. Just real quick, Bob and Joanne. Uh, they're from the original school that was... Uh, here originally, 1716 is when they were from, so they stand now behind this glass out of the weather, I guess, to keep safe. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 